Yes, guys, welcome back to another live stream WDF day four afternoon session. Hope everyone is well in the chat. Um, got a bit of a sore throat, but we'll play through. Uh, please do make sure, like I say, to hit the like button, subscribe if you are new around here. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. There are some decent games in this afternoon session. I must say, I was looking at the afternoon session, preparing. Uh, the stream and preparing the banners, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and there's some pretty decent games. So I'll quickly run through the order of play. You can see it across the bottom as well, but still go through it. Uh, so the first game, Nick Fowler takes on Rory Hansen. That should be an interesting one. Uh, the second game, the number third seed in the women's anchor, Zilstra, takes on Priscilla Steenbergen. Again, could be a decent game. Then we see two very, very good games in the men's. Neil Duff taking on Justin Thompson. Really looking forward to that one. And then Cameron Menzies taking on John Desmaru. Also really looking forward to that one as well. Uh, say hello to Chris in the chat room. Thanks for tuning in, Chris. Hope you are well. Hope you are well, mate. Hope everyone is well in the chat as well. You can vote on the poll as well. There's a current poll going on in the chat for the first game. Nick Falwell, of course, taking on Rory Hampson. Need to get... <clears throat> I need to get both of the, the draws up and running so I can know exactly who plays who. Right, so we'll go on the... And then the women's. Right. So, what? I don't know what the hell's happened on, on Wikipedia. What the hell's happened on Wikipedia? That's Scott Mitchell, isn't it? Yeah. Scotty Dog is in uh, the studio, not the studio. Um, I don't, I don't know what's happened with the, uh, with the women's section of the draw on Wikipedia. It's, it's saying all some random stuff on it. So, um, three, one Falwell says, uh, they said, says Nick, not says Nick <laughs> says, um, says, uh, Chris, I'm going three. <sighs> I'll, I'll say 3 1 as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with you. 3 1. Um, yeah, my tip is on, is on today, Cameron Menzies. I did tip Menzies to, uh, to win the men's um, WDF section. Um, I can't hear what. Nicholson and Mitchell are actually saying at the moment, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this afternoon session. I, I think it could be, it could be one of the best, af one of the better afternoon sessions. I think yesterday's afternoon session was a bit drab. I think uh, the evening was okay. Um, the darts on offer was okay in the in the evening session yesterday, but no, in in any in any major tournament, the afternoon session is always going to be uh, inferior to the to the evening session, isn't it? Because the evening session is prime time, as as Iron Force says. So um, that is when you're going to get the better games or the better players playing. Um, they asked Veenstra about being overlooked. He replied, fair enough. Wow. <laughs> fair, fair play to him. Fair play to him. So Nick Fowler, Rory, Rory Hansen, Al Anker Zilstra against Priscilla Steenberger, Neil Duff, Justin Thompson, and then Cameron Menzies, Ian Jones. Yeah, the vote is 50-50 at the moment between you guys in the chat. There's 
hopefully it sways toward Nick Fowell because that's who I voted and hopefully you guys think the same as me. I don't know what Nicholson and um, um, and Mitchell are on about. So if they do say anything sort of um, interesting, let me know in the chat. Uh, keeping his head down, which is... I could put the comments on screen until it starts. Kind of like keeping um, his head down, which is the right attitude. Hello, Haxon, mate. Thanks for uh, re returning to the stream. Much appreciated, mate. Um... So, uh, yeah, you obviously you did tune in on Sunday for the Pro Tour. So, thanks for uh, returning back to the channel. <clears throat> this bad throat is doing my head in. Hence, I've got some water because it just feels dry. Uh, he says, you're going live all day. Um, well, I'm doing the entire afternoon session. Whether I do the evening session is... Well, I'll, I'll say that and I'll probably end up doing it, but I'm not too sure yet. Maybe. But definitely afternoon session I'll do. Let's put something on the TV in the background because... Right. Yeah, I'll just put Sky Sports News on in the background. Yeah, there is a Belgian today, yeah. Um Yeah, um, Des Maru. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the. Oh wow! Two referees from Manchester on VAR, and the ref for the. Uh... Oh great! Yeah, we we know what's going to happen there then, don't we? Uh, morning, Iron Force. Thanks for. Well, I don't know why I said morning. Actually, it's not morning. It is it is afternoon. So thanks for tuning in, mate. You can vote on the poll, like I said, for the first game, Rory Hansen, or Nick Fowler, Rory Hansen. Um, the players are, well, no, I think we're going back to the, yeah, back to the MC. All right, let me just tweet out that we're live, and then, right, let's just tweet that we're live. I'm not too sure who's got the darts in this, but we will find out in a minute. Oh, bloody hell. Trust me to misspell. Um, right, we'll put a few tags in there. There we are. Yeah, you do have to do it the hard way, to be fair. I need a bit of my drink because my throat is really dry. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I, I do think Nick Falwell will win this one. Has Nick Falwell been on the um, been on the live league before? I'm trying. I'm trying to think if he has. Hello, Into. Thanks for tuning in, mate. I don't think he has actually, has he? I swear. I've... Hang on. Um, let's have a look. Nick Folwell results. I know he's been on the um, wait, is he a tour card holder? He is, isn't he? Uh, no, this one is different, uh, hacks and mate. This is actually on TV, so I can't. There's no actual live stream to to put on it because the live stream that if I was to put one on, um, then it would it would mess up the scores as I was calling it. It would either be before or after I say it, so it would just be pointless. Um, yeah, I do just want to say, um, as Chris has put in the chair in the chat, sorry. Uh, four years ago today, we did lose Eric Bristow. It was at, it was either Liverpool or it, it was somewhere in the Premier League that I think it was Liverpool or Manchester when it got announced by um, John McDonald that uh, unfortunately Eric Bristow did pass away. Um, I think it was Peter Wright, who was currently on stage at the time, had or shed a few tears. Um, and yeah, no, I can't put the stream on, no. I'll, I'll, I'll be, uh, yeah, Liverpool. I will be um I'll be calling the scores as as they happen so so I'll be uh calling the yeah it's copyright yeah yeah that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say I'll be calling the scores basically as they happen Nick Fowell has the dart. I believe it's Nick Fowell who's won the throw. Yeah, Bristol passed away four years ago, um, Hacks and mate. I'll tell you what, that is so bloody, that doesn't feel like four years ago. It is Falwell with the throw, first leg of the first set. Great 140 to start off. Already Rory Hansen is forced to throw or forced to match. Yeah, mate. Four years ago today. Didn't he go missing too sometime? What do you mean? Yeah, massive advantage in this leg for Nick Foley. He's got 140-140. An 81 to leave 140. So what a start to this first leg from Nick Folwell. 140, 140, 81 to leave 140 after nine. Rory Hansen is still on 300. So six darts, maybe even nine darts at 140. So 90 to leave 50. What? Oh, he went 25, did he? So he's left tops. It's a great 140 from Hansen to leave 160. So tops for Falwell for a hold of throw and the first leg. And it goes. Nick Falwell holds the throw, leads 
Rory Hansen, 5-1, leg to nil. Nice. Was that 12 dart hold? Might have been. Oh, I've got to end the poll. Right. What is the second match? Second match is uh, Anker Zilstra, isn't it? And how can I spell Priscilla Steenbergen, <laughs> but can't spell like Dave or something sometimes when I'm rushing? But you can, but I can spell Pris Priscilla Steenbergen. Yeah, this is a great start from Nick Folwell in this match, but Rory Hansen puts in a ton. 3-6-1 is full well, 2-3-1, uh, sorry, for Rory Hansen. You can see why he's the number 12 seed in this one, can't you? Another 140 from Nick Folwell. Now, question to the chat. Did Rory Hansen ever play for Canada in a World Cup or on the PDC? Has Rory Hansen played on the PDC before? Because I recognise him, and I don't know where from. It might be from BDO. It's a great shot, to be fair, from Hansen. Leaves himself 52. So Nick Fowell to leave something decent off 178. Needs a treble. Only 60, so he's left himself 118. Should he return if Nick, if Rory Hansen doesn't take out 52? 12 for tops for Hansen. Double 10 for the Canadian. And it doesn't go. So Nick Folwell has a chance of a break of throw. 118. There's the 18. There's the treble 20. Tops. Oh, what a shot. Nick Folwell. 118 checkout to break the Rory Hansen throw. He leads in this set by two legs to nil. He is throwing for the set in rapid time. Uh, beautiful day ahead. Prep work for blast rainfall overnight was comp completed yesterday. Even after darts and today will be relaxing compared to the rest of the outlook till Friday. I'm guessing you're busy on Friday then, is it? Uh, no, I don't need any mods yet, Haxon. Um, but the next, I, I do know who the, the next moderator will be, so. But I, I, I'm, I don't need to do it yet, but I will be doing it over the next couple of days, I think. Probably on Thursday for the, the Premier League. One, two, three. From Fullwell. Not left to finish. He's on 183, Nick Folwell. Rory Hansen off 261. Has not left anything decent. Left 162. So Nick Folwell. I don't know if that's gone in the treble or, or single. I'm not too sure, but. What was it? Yeah, it was. He's left 38. So. 38 for Nick Falwell for the set. Hi, uh, football ad, mate. Hope you're well. My other predictions, 2-0 anchor. Hang on. Double eight. He's missed double eight for the set. 2-0 uh, Zilstra. 3-2 Thompson. 3-2 Menzies. Needs a treble. Not going to go. So double four. For Nick Folwell for the set. And he's got this done pretty quickly, you must say. Double four. Double two. 
Big, big dart, this. And he's missed it. He's missed more darts for the set. Rory Hansen switching it. I was switching it. Of course, he has to. don't know why I said that. 16, 16 for double. And he misses it. So we're into the madhouse. Double one for the set for Nick Folwell. With Hansen left on 32. Doesn't need to go to 32 because Nick Folwell takes out double one and leads set number one. One set to the good for Nick Folwell. He leads Rory Hansen 1 0. Wednesday slash Thursday will be. Hopefully, Friday won't be. What have you got Friday then, mate? What have you got planned for Friday? If you don't mind me asking, of course. One set to the good. Wait, what was... Chris, was your prediction 3-1? Actually, I can just go up the chat, can't I? Um, yeah, you said 3-1. I said 3-1 as well. Could easily be 3-0 here. Um, let's have a look at the poll for the next game. Um, I'm surprised it's... Um, I thought it'd be a lot closer than that. It's only 60-40 in favour of Anker Zilstra. I think Zilstra will, will win that pretty comfortably, in my opinion. I think I think that's a 2-0 result there, and. I'll tell you what, this afternoon session could actually um could actually be done pretty quickly, couldn't it? I think. Oh, nice, you're going camping. Fair play, mate. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. Right, I need to I need to make some sort of schedule for the channel, I think, because I want people to sort of know what's coming up. So every week. What I'm going to do on the community tab, I, I don't know if you guys check the community tab or anything, but um, every Sunday night, what I'll do is I'll make the schedule for the week of what's going to be on the channel for each day, um, if there's going to be content on that day. So instead of like having to quickly put on the put on the community tab something that's going to be on that day, on the Sunday night, I'll say, right, Monday... If we're doing anything Monday, Tuesday, it'll be Darts Podcast. Then I'll put Thursday, Premier League, Watch Along. And then um, if there's a Pro Tour that weekend, I'll say Sunday, Pro Tour, if that makes sense. So you guys know exactly what to expect over the next week, rather than say I'll go live for a Pro Tour. Me putting it on the, the Pro Tour. Uh, sorry, me putting on the Community tab saying we're live for the Pro Tour. You already know what's coming. I think that makes a lot more a lot more sense. So it makes um, the whole channel a lot more organised. So I wasn't even going to do a um, a WDF stream on yesterday, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed watching some, some something different. You know, we watched the PDC week on week on week on week on week. Watch the same players every single week: Van Gerwen, Price, Wright, Clayton, Cullen, Anderson, Smith, Wade. These same players every single week. Um, and and it's just nice to watch someone else. Yes, the Blade 6 is worth getting, yeah. I don't know how much it is, though. Depends which one you want. Do you want the triple core or the dual core? Triple core is 80. Dual core is 60, 50, 60. They are worth getting, but um, shouldn't have any problems keeping up with the darts, even while fishing. 
I'm guessing you um you you um enjoy fishing then. You should join Gary Anderson. Let's just get this up for uh, the average. So Nick Falwell's throwing a 90 average at the moment, which is obviously good. Right, there we are. Get that back on. Uh, Gary Anderson, favourite fish to fish is, the, is called the fish moaners. Oh, Lord. How did I knew Chris was going to say something like that? I have three uh, darts pulled up in my house. Fair enough. I'm looking forward to Sunday again to do the Pro Tour because I really enjoyed that Pro Tour stream on Sunday. It was really, um, it was really good. So we'll we'll definitely be bringing that back. So what I was doing on for anyone that didn't tune in on Sunday or couldn't tune in on Sunday for the Pro Tour stream, what I'd done is I had my one laptop to the side of me with all the current scores, and then on on my screen that you what you're seeing right now, I had the um, a feature game, and it was quite good because you guys were you know commenting which games you wanted to see as the feature game, and I found it you know very interactive. So we will be live Sunday again for another Pro Tour stream. Won't be live Saturday for a for a, a pro tour because I'll be at Newport Swindon, so won't be able to, won't be able to do that. But <laughs> throw him in the lake. Say, are you sure you just want to play dart and then throw him in the lake? I don't know if you have Iron Force, but you said I think it was during the um. During the World Championships, that you're going to put up a dartboard sometime soon and have a throw. Have you made any progress with that, or because I've not heard you mention it or anything recently, so just wondering if that is still something that you uh, that you want to do. Yeah, Nick Fulwell is is definitely the better player in this game, isn't he? You can tell he's left the finish one five six with Rory Hansen on two five two. This could be done pretty quickly. Uh, Jamie says, hey, did you hear what happened to Nick Falwell House? I feel sorry for him. No, I actually didn't, mate. What happened? By the way, Jamie is not a mo uh, Jamie is not a um a troll like all the other ones we were getting yesterday. No, I, I haven't seen anything. Let me know in the chat, Jamie. So 112 for Fulwell. Tops. Nick Fulwell takes it 118 in the previous leg. Starts set two with 112 checkout. He leads Rory Hansen by one set and one leg to nil in this last 32 match. Wait, who? The winner of this will play the winner of Neil Duff against Justin Thompson. That's an interesting section of the draw. Duff, Thompson, Hanson, Folwell. It's an interesting section. Maybe not as interesting with how Folwell's played in this match, but I thought Hanson was going to play a, a bit better than what he's showing. Great 180 from Nick Folwell. Nick Folwell is playing some beautiful darts here. Yeah, it's, it's massively advantage to, to Folwell in this set again. Yeah, and the winner of that, uh, Chris, plays the winner of Leonard Gates, Steve Hine. That's another brilliant game. 
So six starts for Nick Folwell at 195 for a 2 0 lead in set two. Yeah, he's going to be on a finish. Going to be on a good one as well. 75 less left. Which way are you going? Uh, they were talking to Paul Nicholson about it and his house got broken into. They took his car and his laptop and his darts and he had to get some darts off someone until he gets some more. I didn't even hear that. Eighteen for tops, and it goes. Nick Falwell is two 0 up in set number two. He is one leg away from a two set to nil lead over Rory Hansen. A fantastic scoreline this for Nick Falwell. He's just been the better player by a long, long way. Talking about um, good games, what is the evening session? Let's have a look. So look at the evening session in the darts. Um, so Horrell against Desmond, Van Dongen, De Vreed, Warren Sheehan and Hutchinson Clemens. Wow. They're good games as well. So he he's lucky to be here today because he was playing Pro Tour all weekend. Yeah, he was actually, yeah. Completed shop and dart set up before spring, but not much time to throw. Spring is the busiest of seasons. Ah, fair enough. So hopefully you can uh, can get on the dart board then. Sixty from Hanson. Yeah, no one really answered my question. Did Hanson used to play in the PDC, or has he always been in the the old BDO? Because I I remember seeing him play a lot. I can't remember where from. Evening. Well, don't know. I saying evening, afternoon. John, thanks for tuning in. Is he actually Chris? Glenn does a durrant. There's Martin Adams. Only 59. Martin Adams and Durant and Scott Mitchell. Seeing them at this tournament this weekend, or oh, these last couple of days, is crazy, isn't it? Oh, just BDO, yeah. It was it was that that I remember him from then. Oh, it's a great 140 from Falwell. Leaves himself 48. This 105 has to go for Rory Hansen. And it's not gonna go. So 48 for the set for Nick Falwell for a 2-0 lead. 16 for 16 for double or eight for tops. Which way are you go in? Eight for tops. Double ten. He has missed two set darts in this leg, Nick Falwell. Rory Hansen. And double ten goes for Hansen. It is Rory Hansen's first leg of the match. Lost set one by three legs to nil. And he finally gets his first leg of this set. Big up solo. Um I need to I need to message you about something, Solo. Give me drop me a message on uh on Twitter or, or WhatsApp and um because I need to have a word with you about something. No, nothing bad, obviously. I, I wanna ask a question about something, so um, if you can drop me a message on one of them, that'll be much appreciated. But thanks for tuning in, Solo.
Yeah, I do like that setup on the uh, on the Oki though. To be fair. Poor visit that from Nick Falwell. Doesn't matter though, because at the end of the day, he's still definitely going to win this game, I think, from here. I think anyone that says otherwise would be silly, really. So, six starts at 244 if you can get. Oh, wow. He's a treble. I think he's, he's trying to. Uh, will do, mate. It's my pleasure. Keep up the great. Cheers. Thanks, uh, Solo. It's basically about the Man United agenda, Solo. That's what it's about. But yeah, drop me a message when you can. Trouble 19. Oh. 61. Wow. So he's left himself 138. Rory Hansen is behind on 219. So it's not like by not hitting that, he's not gonna win the win the set because Rory Hansen has left 159, no finish. Poor board management from Rory. So 138. I I don't think the thing it uh Solo, you've probably sent it to my old no, my old number. I have got a new number, so um, you've probably sent it to the old one. Um, tops for Nick Falwell, and he goes two sets to nil up. Two sets to nil for Nick Falwell. He is one set away from the last 16. What area does Falwell live in? Um, I remember seeing beforehand, I think it's Lincolnshire, I think. Message me on Twitter solo and then I'll um, and then I'll give you the new number if you want, mate, because you've probably sent the message to the old number. Right. I swear I saw Lincolnshire earlier. I might be wrong, but um, well, he was he's from Wolves. Um, no, no, he's from Wolves, and he lives in Stourbridge, which is in the Midlands. So, so Midlands, Iron Force. Gotta feel sorry for Rory Hansen here. Like Chris says, Falwell just completely a different level compared to Hansen. Exactly. As much as I love doing these WDS streams, I am looking forward to the Premier League on Thursday. Talking of Premier League, let's um let's see what the fixtures are for the Premier League on Thursday. Um excuse me. Uh, night nine. Michael Smith is Peter Wright. Gary Anson, Van Gerwen, good game. Colin Clayton, Wade Price. Hmm, some decent games in there. Big up, Luca. 40, 58, sorry. So he's left 170. Nick Falwell. Rory Hansen has left 140. So even if this 170 doesn't go, which I don't think it will, I don't see Hansen taking out. Only only 57. So maybe this gives Hansen a, a chance here. 140. Needs a treble. Needs a treble. Needs a treble. Otherwise, he's not going to... Only 60 scored. He's left 80. So this 113... For the opening leg of set three, treble 19. So he's only doing it to get double 18, which would have left, which would have won the leg. Um, Cameron Menz is playing Ian Jones, is he?
Double 18 for Rory Hansen and it goes. Yeah, you're right. Wait, so... Karen Menzies, Ian Jones. Thanks for... Um, Thanks for um, noticing that, pal. Where did I get that wrong then? Let me have a look. Um, did I get it wrong on sofa score? Um, oh, I just I just must have read it wrong. To be fair. But cheers for, uh, for noticing that. Only 60, so advantage again in favour of Nick Folwell. Surprise, surprise. Back to the most underrated snack of all time, Fridge Raiders. Yes, I will, mate. So 281 is what Nick Falwell is on. One treble would hurt. No. So this is where Hansen has the advantage. Got to hit a treble. There we are. Needs another one, preferably. It's a ton. Look, he's just hit a ton. I bet you Nick Falwell goes like 140 or 180 here. This would be... Oh, slip that. This is his chance. Great last dart. Richard Veenstra in the crowd. Big up, Richard. Rory Hansen has played awful. One, three, six for the break of throw. Ninety six. Oh, it's not bad. But he can't do it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This has been the story of this game. Tops for Nick Folwell to break the throw and to go within one of the match. Double ten. Big, big moment. Wow. Um, the flavour... Um, Southern, the blue ones, these ones. Wow. Rory Hansen is giving opportunities to Nick Folwell. Double five. Tops for Hansen. Finally it goes. Holds the throw. It's only a hold of throw. But it's a level set. Rory Hansen holds the throw. Nick Fowell is throwing for a 2-1 lead in set three. Only 60 though. I wish there were more in um, a pack of fridge raiders. Oh, there's literally like 10. Not even that. It's like eight in there. Fifty nine. What can full well hit? Need to travel in this visit or. Oh. 43. 
Is the tide swinging? Is Rory Hansen going to potentially break here and throw for the set? Great minds think alike, Chris. Great 140 from Nick Falwell. And then a lovely um, bottle of water to wash it down. Advantage Falwell, though. Despite being on 198, he can really attack this. And he has He's left 73. So... 73 for a hold of throw, and then Rory Hansen will be throwing to stay in the tournament. Treble three. Oh, he's missed double 11. He's come inside on 11. I always go to the local fairway shop and they say just the usual then. <laughs> Oh, what is he doing, Rory Hampson? Oh, Rory, Rory, Rory. If you want to come on for the evening session, Chris, you're more than welcome to, mate. It's up to you. Double two. Wow. He's missing more darts, Nick Folwell. Double 16 for Hanson. Oh, Rory Hansen has missed two more at double 16. Double two for Nick Falwell to finally get over the line in this leg. Oh, and he's busted. He's gone in single 17. Double eight. Oh, Rory Hansen has busted it. Back to back busts. Double two. Finally, Nick Folwell gets over the line, holds the throw, leads by two legs to one. Rory Hansen is throwing to stay in the WDF World Championships. Throwing to stay in the tournament. Oh, what a 140 from Nick Folwell. Your opponent goes 95 and Nick Folwell re replies with a 140. Needs another treble, Rory. Rory Hansen replies with a 140. Nervy stuff. Oh, he's in the trebles again here, Rory. Uh, Nick Folwell. It's another 140. Back to back to back. 140s in this leg. Rory Hansen needs to hit a 140 now. He's not going to. Praise to Danny Baggish, son, who suffered horrible car accident, broken arms, bruised ribs and lungs. Danny was able to FaceTime him today. Oh, my God. Do you mean his little boy? His boy that's like three or four? Or does he have an older son? Because I remember um, when I done a... When I done a video uh when i done an interview with danny baggish on one of my old channels um he said um he said i was just on the phone to my i was just on the facetime to my son and i was like talking to him before we pressed record on the on the interview and he, he said his son was only like two at the time surely not Obviously, it doesn't make it acceptable the older you are, but, I mean, for a little kid to, to be in a, an accident like that. Double 18. One missed match dart for Nick Folwell at double 18. Rory Hansen tops to stay in the tournament. Wow. 
Nick Fulwell's going to have three more darts at double nine to win the match. Oh, he's busted it. Oh, my God. The drama. Double 18 for Hansen. Excuse me. Oh, still doesn't go. Double nine for Nick Folwell to finally win the match. It's a good marker. It's a very... Oh, wow. Three more missed darts at a double. This is shocking. This is absolutely shocking. Double 18. Surely now. Oh, my Lord. Double nine for Nick Falwell. Double eight. Oh, God. Could someone bloody win this leg, for Christ's sake? Bloody hell, the standard of this is awful. Double nine. Oh, and he's busted it. <laughs> Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Double four. Finally for the match. Nick Fowell beats Rory Hansen by three sets to nil. Finally. About time. The next game, Anker Zilstra takes on Priscilla Steenbergen in the women's WDF. Right, let me, um, that is the next game, Anker Zilstra against Priscilla Steenbergen. Please do make sure to vote on the poll for the next match um, between Zilstra and Steenbergen. The thing is, we've only been live for under an hour. Yeah, speed of recovery anyway. Uh, we've only been live under an hour and we've already had the first result and that is a best of five sets we could be done by a could be done by four o'clock here i think anchor i think anchor zilstra wins two nil i think neil duff justin thompson is close three two and i think cameron menzies wins three nil or three one so No one wanted to win that last leg, though, did they? What's the average? The averages must be awful after that. Um, 75 average and a 67 average. So the lowest average in the men's all tournament So the lowest average in the men's all tournament so far is 65.29 from Donovan Lotterin. And the lowest from the women's is 53.05. Wow, Priscilla, Priscilla, um, the player that is playing Anka Zilstra coming up averaged. 54 in a first round match. Oh, Danny put a tweet about it. Let's have a look. Let's just have a look at his tweet. Um, right, let's have a look. Um...
Wow. Let me just comment on that a second. Right, there we go. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Um, I'm just on to this. Right, there we go. I had to put a tweet on because I've actually spoke to Daddy on a few occasions, so hopefully... Um... Oh, that's crazy, man. The state of the car as well on his tweet. It's Tuesday and Trammer fans are still salty. Travia fans are, uh, well, I can't say because I'll be seen as salty after that playoff final, but Travia fans are, well, a different breed. Is there any interviews from um, any of these WDF? I don't know if the online darts uh, YouTube channel have done interviews with them. So I want to listen to uh, to Cameron Menzies interview later, but I don't know if Assuming there will be some sort of interviews on this tournament. Because at the end of the day, it's a world champion, isn't it? The winner of this is a world champion. As much as people want to... Oh, online darts have. All right, that's that's good. Because so I want to listen to uh, to Menzies' interview later after his game. Provided, excuse me, provided any wins, of course. Because so I think they only do it for the winner, don't they? I think it's only the winner. I have no idea what... Um... Nick Fowle is saying, of course, because I've not got it on, but. What do you, in which way do you mean? Do you mean like appearance wise or do you mean like how he says, how he speaks and stuff or. Because I remember him with um, with glasses when he was uh, when he was playing. I'd love to see Paul Nicholson in this. I would love to see him uh, playing in the uh, the WDF. How he speaks, because when he was playing, he was arrogant. 
Yeah, yeah. Do you remember him with the glasses in that get in that players' championship final? Funny, very funny. This is one thing I do hate in between darts matches is the talking in between it. it does get my nerves a little bit. I'll tell you what, the, the things that separated the two players in that in that last match between Falwell and uh Hansen was the, the checkouts. He took out 112 and 118. Um, Nick Falwell, which is very, very good in in, in this format, uh, in, not in this format, in this um, in this competition. I, I know it's, I don't want to keep slating the WDF, but there's you you won't see many of the high high checkouts and one twelve, one eighteen in back to back legs or very close to each other was insane. Uh, Tramvia's fans salty because they said we celebrate like we won the league versus nine men. Sorry, they don't know the state we were before. <laughs> Not there to celebrate. Was it away from home or was it? I can't remember if you said it was away or. Away, yeah. So you're gonna celebrate like that away from home, aren't you? Obviously, we won't on um, on Saturday because if we get a draw away at Swindon, that's a well. Is it an awful result? It probably is, really, considering Newport need to win every game now. We do need to win every game, I think. So at the moment we're outside the playoffs. The thing is, right, we're outside the playoffs, but one win with everyone else dropping points could put us fourth. That's what I mean. The the um the race for promotion in League Two is is very tight. I don't know what's going to happen in League 2. Muck Essex, if you know... Muck Essex. Muck Essex. If you know what I mean, Chris. Harry Muck Essex. Hopefully you get that joke. <laughs> Unfortunately, bloody kiss that uh, that man then. What an old fashioned name that is, Priscilla. Sounds like a, a 70 year old woman, Priscilla. An old Dutch clash here. Anker Zilstra against Priscilla Steenbergen. I tell you what, I think it was Chris that said it on the the watch on that he joined me for yesterday. You don't get this in the PDC in terms of the walk on this close to the like they're ba there's basically people right next to um right next to the the hockey pretty much when they're throwing they're basically sat on the sat on the people in the crowd's lap pretty much with how close they are. So it's good to see though. Not good to see that. I mean, good to see. The, the lake side going again.
Priscilla Steenbergen is only 23. WDF rank 20, so... I'll say what, I like the Steenbergen throw. I know obviously she's... Yeah, true, Chris. Very true. What is she doing with her darts? I'll tell you what, I like that throw of Steenbergen. Right, who's got the darts? I'm presuming it's uh, it's Zilstra, is it? Yeah, Zilstra with the darts. Ninety four needs a treble, Priscilla. Good last dart. I think this game could go one of one of two ways. I think she could get battered, Steenbergen, or it could be a close game, but still loses. I don't think she wins this game personally. Right, let's make a poll for the next game. Um, who's on after this? It is um, Neil Duff, Justin Thompson, isn't it? Do they do? Do they do that all the time? Then Chris, go in the crowd or. Because I normally I just watch lakeside the the games and then as soon as the game's finished i'll just go and do something i never really who was that in the crowd he looked familiar I don't like the design, the design of uh, Zilstra's darts. The design of her darts look awful. Wow. So one four five for Anka Zilstra with her opponent double her score at the moment. Fifty seven. Yeah, the standard's not the best, is it? But. We have passed an hour into the stream, guys. If you are new, please make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. If you do want to donate, you can do that from uh, as little as 79p during, oh, you know, from the Super Chat or from 199 a month to join the membership. Uh, so she left, she's left herself tops, Zilstra, with Steenbergen. Well, not too far away on 112. And it goes double 10 for Anka Zilstra. She holds the throw lead. Priscilla Steenbergen by one leg to nil. I don't know if I want Simpson to win League 2 Manager of the Month because once you win it, there's that curse where you've got a bad one afterwards. Yeah, I know. It's a, the same thing happened for Michael Flynn. And that's the reason why we didn't get automatic promotion last season. He got manager of the month in March. Um, and in April, we we had an awful April. Um, no, no, sorry. Manager of the month in February had it. Awful March. And then we had a great April. And then um, got uh, playoffs on the, or secured playoffs on the final day.
By the way, for the final game of the season, I've got something absolutely quality for the match day vlog. Now, there's a chance that on the final day, um, teams around us, if they win, they could go into the playoffs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a... On, I'm going to edit it that during the vlog, on the match day vlog on the final day, there'll be a live there'll be a live table at half time and at during like during points in the game if that makes sense. So say we score or someone around us scores, I'll screenshot the table at that point and put that during the vlog so you can so it'll be like a live table that, that they do on Sky Sports if teams are going for the title and they'll say how it stands or as it stands and stuff. And I'm going to do that with a little banner saying as it stands what a shot that is priscilla steenberger holds the throw with a 114 checkout all right priscilla welcome to the party welcome to the party priscilla uh we had it with chris beach last season when we were top and we had postponements other other that didn't play for a month, then when um or oh, after they didn't play for a month, then went on horrid run. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that the other day, Chris. So what I'll do is I'll whenever someone around us on the it, it might not matter. We might already secured playoffs, or we might uh input like mathematically can't get playoffs, we might already be automatically promoted. We don't know. But whatever the outcome, that's what I'll do. So even if it's going for automatic promotion. Obviously, I won't do it if we've secured playoffs and can't get automatic. It's pointless. Because I, I don't care about anyone else in the league. I just care about us. Everyone else are irrelevant. Unless it's, it's on the final day. What was I going to say... Um, Chris, who have you got on the final day of the season? This could be pivotal, seeing who you've got on the final day. And oh, please say it's against someone. Is that Puha? Was that How Pai Puha in the crowd then? Please say you've got someone in, in and around us on the final day. Please, please, please say you have. Oh, way to Bradford. Damn it. I was hoping you was going to say, like, home to Salford or... Steenberger's missed tops for 120. Wow. 102 for Zilstra. I'll tell you what, Steenberger is playing some decent darts. Double 10 for a 2-1 lead and a break of throw. That's fine. 15, 5 left. Three for double one. Unlucky. Unlucky, Priscilla. Zilstra, 48. Eight for tops. 16 for double 16. Double 16 for Anka Zilstra. Double eight. She misses it. So Priscilla has a chance at double one for a break. Oh, she's busted it. The thing is, when you we're at home to Exeter on Saturday, we're exp oh please win, please please win. Priscilla Steenbergen wants double one. Where the hell was that one? Jesus Christ! Double two. Double one. Wow, she's busted it. This is embarrassing. The standard, you can tell, is on the floor. So double one for Steenbergen and it goes. Priscilla Steenbergen is one leg away from taking set number one against the throw. Anka Zilstra. Look at that man in the back with the camera in the ring light. Like. 
fair play to Priscilla Steenberger, though. She's played some decent darts here, and this will be a massive shot. We don't tend to have great record against Exeter. Oh. Um, apart from when we won 1 0 at home last season when we came back after a month. Oh, was that after the postponement? I imagine. Oh, this is a great shot. Is it going to be a 180? Why have you switched there? Why have you switched? Oh, lucky. Good one, two, three from Steenbergen. How is Anka Zilstra seeded free for this? She's played awful. She might be better than this on her day, but this performance has been awful from her. Like I said, I've not heard of her, but Steenbergen has definitely been the better player. Um, let me... Twenty one scored. Ah. Good idea to go down to the uh, to the trouble nineteens. Um, have you fellas seen the movie No Country for Old Men? I've not seen it. No, I don't know if anyone else in the chat has. What's it about or what's it based on? Seventy four for Steenbergen for the set. That's fine. Twenty four tops. Wow. I'll go into it with some same attitude like I did this. Yeah, you, you got to in games like that, Chris. You got to go into it with that attitude. And so far, we're the only ones in recent times to have come to Carlisle and beat you. Um, that's expected to win anyway. Priscilla Steenbergen takes set number one. What a shock this will be for the young Dutch woman if she can beat the third seed for this tournament, Anka Zilstra. The winner of this will take on. Um, oh, it's messing up, isn't it? So I don't, I don't know who the winner of this will take on, actually. Oh, yes, we do. It is fixed itself now. The winner of Anka Zilstra, Priscilla Steenbergen, will play the winner of Kirsty Hutchinson, Joe Clemens in the quarterfinal. It's best of three sets until the semi-finals. Semi-finals, best of five sets. Final, best of seven sets in the women's. That's poor. That is poor, personally, anyway. Uh, Nick Fowler will play Neil Duff, Justin Thompson as well. Um, I think they should have longer formats in the women's game, personally. But that's just me. I am looking forward to, um, to the Premier League Thursday as well. I think the Premier League night on Thursday could be very interesting. What about the vote? So the vote is going with um, with Justin Thompson. as So you guys are saying Justin Thompson will win that one. What's it called? No Country for Old Men. Let's, let's have, let's have a, a gander. Um, American Western crime thriller. Um, is it the 2017 
Uh, 2007 film, sorry. Uh, don't check reviews um, or meanings of it, and you'll sh and you shall and you should watch it before not tomorrow's Premier League, but week from tomorrow's Premier League. The Premier League's on Thursday, isn't it? It's, it's Tuesday today, but not this week's Premier League. Why? I'm so confused. Why next week's? Don't watch it before this week's Premier League, but. Okay, I'm really confused. Is this like some sort of... Right, let me see where the Premier League is in two weeks' time. When if that will give it away? Um, right. So, we're going to Leeds and then Manchester. So, Manchester is two weeks... Is next, next week. There might not be a meaning behind it, but I'm really confused. Is it a good film then? It says it's an, Amer an American Western crime thriller. I tell you what, this day has gone quick for the um, for the afternoon session, hasn't it? Into says it's good, so I'll probably give it a watch. Right, so I look at the right. So the the girls, um, no, the the boys. WDF is on the ninth, and the finals on the tenth. The girls' final is on the tenth. Yeah, all four finals, all four WDF finals are on the same day. Um, we'll have a discussion of one of the greatest movies of all time and definitely the best since 2000. Well, I'll have, I'll have to watch that. I'll have to give it a watch then. Hun there from Anka Zilstra. Keep voting on the poll as well for the game after this. Neil Duff taking on Justin Thompson. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not Wednesday today, it is Tuesday. But I know what you mean. It feels weird today not doing the podcast, but it does feel weird not doing the podcast on a Tuesday. But like I said, for obvious reasons, we can't just do a podcast in the middle of in the middle of um, a world championship because people the interest is not going to be in there for that when there's also a world championship going on i'm going to be doing content around the world championship anyway so if i could st i could have still done the podcast in terms of timing because we could have done that at six i could have gone live at seven but there's no point when we'll be saying stuff that yeah it, it just doesn't make any logical sense to to do it in the middle of a of a tournament so we are gonna have that difficulty i think in the middle of tournaments throughout the year to to do the podcast. So 
we're gonna have to try and you know potentially reshuffle podcasts around or stuff like that because for example when the match plays on when the grand prix the worlds you know we won't be able to do podcasts during that so we'll probably have a think about that about what we'll do So 50 for Steenbergen to go 1-0 up in set number 2. 18 for double 16. She's gone the 10. Tops route. Tops for Steenbergen. Wow. Yeah, I know you do, Chris. I know you still want them out. Double 8 goes for Anka Zilstra. She leads in set 2. Breaks the Steenbergen throw. She is throwing for a two-leg lead. In set two. Oh, it is it is true about um it is true about Nick Falwell. Cause I've just seen Phil Phil's tweet on Twitter. So bloody hell. So sorry, Jamie, for, for thinking that might have not been right, but but yeah, he he was right about what happened. Fair play. I I'm glad Nick Fowler won that game even more now. That's crazy. How many burglaries, you know, from professionals are we going to keep seeing, man? We saw it loads with, with obviously, um, oh, goodness. My grandpa was season to go older. Now he's, he's suffering with dementia. Lost his season to go, not being replaced with. Wow, that's poor. I, I, I'm guessing you and him went to went to games together. I'm I'm imagining like before, obviously before the you know the demonetized virus and stuff. That's bad. Not even, not even a message from the club or something to. One three five for Steenbergen. One four eight for Zilstra. Eighty seven left for Steenbergen for a level set. I may not do the, the evening session tonight, guys. I think I might have the evening off, potentially. Um, yeah, Iron Force. That sounds, that sounds pretty good, mate, yeah. Like I said, I, I won't give my um my number to, to obviously um to people that I don't trust. So yeah, absolutely. I don't even know why Chris doesn't have my number. I should have I should really give that to him to be fair if he can't ever message on Twitter. Leveled up the leg from Priscilla Steenbergen. In fact, let me let me do that a minute, Chris. Let me send you um something on Twitter a second, mate. Just because I know sometimes your your Twitter messes up, so and like I said, I I trust you, Chris, not to go give it to anyone. So bear with me. Let me um. Where's Chris? There he is. Um. Check your uh, check your message on Twitter, Chris, if you're still watching, mate. Yeah, before demand, as far as I buy him a ticket myself, he goes to some home games still uh, now because of me, because it's our club, not theirs. Yeah, very true, very, very true, actually.
And she set that up nicely. So Priscilla Steenbergen has left herself 86 for a 2-1 lead in the set. Uh, no worries, Chris. Just because, just in case you ever need to give me a message or anything, if Twitter's not working or or stuff, just drop drop the message when you can, saying it's you as well, so I can uh, so I can uh, set that all up on my end as well. What a shot! That's a great shot on the fifty from Priscilla Steenbergen. Takes it out. She's one leg away from a level game. And I didn't expect this from uh, Priscilla Steenberger. She's actually, I would argue, she's, this is the performance. No, this is for the match. Priscilla Steenberger is now throwing, well, not throwing because it's on the, the Zilstra throw, but she is 501 points away from winning this game. You should open up, you should make an account on Twitter, Iron Force, mate. It'd be a lot easier. In one year, I'm trying the WDF and PDC development tour. Do they have a WDF development tour? Well, of course, that of course they will. What? Yeah, I think they would. I mean, if she can get something big here, Steenberg, and she's in. Oh, lucky. Yeah, they should have a, a WDF development tour, do they? No, they don't. The PDC development tour, they don't have a, a, a development tour for the, the WDF circuit, from what I just read. Poor visit that from um, Zilstra. Right, there you are, Chris. I've done it. All done. Uh... Right, there we go. All done. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, God. All good. Oh, great cover shot from Steenberg. She's left 82. This has to go from Zilstra. This... Yeah, she looks like a good player. What's happened? Bear with me. I need to sort out this. Uh, need to sort this out a second. I don't know why that went off like that. She levels it up. Two legs apiece. Priscilla Steenberger is throwing for the match. You hate thick barrels. Mm. Thick barrels, all right, actually. If you can, uh, if if your your accuracy is good, thick barrels are good because you can just guide them. Only on Facebook and YouTube. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
I can understand why, because Twitter can be toxic at times. Mind, so can YouTube. Facebook, Facebook is never toxic because the thing is with Facebook, you need to like verify now to to actually make an account. So, so you you get a loss, a lot less like trolls and stuff on Facebook. Hence why I, I do use that sometimes. Basically, I, I only use Facebook for close family and friends, and for um. And for posting my my videos out on there, like my vlogs and stuff, onto group chats. So, so eighty six then for the match for Priscilla Steenbergen. Eighty five left. One, two, six for Zilstra with Steenbergen left on 64. Treble 19, treble 19 for double six. Massive, massive chance to level up this match. Steenbergen wants 64. Another one of them. Double 16. Priscilla Steenbergen beats Anka Zilstra. What a shock. Priscilla is into the next round, into the quarterfinals, where she will take on either Kirsty Hutchinson or Joe Clements. What a result that is. Anka Zilstra, the second seed at this tournament, is knocked out by the 23-year-old Priscilla Steenbergen. What a shock. What a shock. Uh, best of five again now, isn't it, for the men's? Uh, Dutch players coming through pretending to be shocked. Uh, that's why I put my account on Twitter on private. Yeah, exactly. Right, let me just see what the poll is saying for the next match. Um, game predictions in for the next match. Neil Duff against Justin Thompson. Um, you guys are going with uh, Justin Thompson, actually. No, I'm, I'm sticking Neil Duff for this, personally. I don't, I don't know, because Thompson is a good player. I've actually seen him play a few times, so... Um, I said 3-2 Thompson, be a close game. Yeah, I've gone 3-2, but I don't know who wins it. I don't know if I'm going to go. Mm, it's going to be tough. I'm just watching a snooker advert at the moment. Ronnie O'Sullivan beating Wilson in the, uh, I don't know if this is a championship, probably. Um, yeah, three, two, either way. Right, bear with me. Someone's at the door. Two seconds. Ow, that hurt.
There we are. Hate that when um when, uh, when it's a parcel, but not for you. When you have to take it in for the next door neighbour. What bloody hell? If you know a bloody parcel's coming in, why don't you stay in and wait for it? Christ. Um, bloody knack gonna run up and down the stairs twice then. Um, um, God, you can tell how unfit I am. I'll run up, the, run down the stairs to see what it was. Run back upstairs to get the, to get some ID, and then run back downstairs to. <sighs> wow. Uh, football darts and snooker, all the best. Oh wow, a lot of vacancies at Carlisle at the moment. They need club shop staff, staff for the youth. Not getting carried away. Hopefully, a sign of owners and chairman going. Uh, that was changing of the guard type of result for the young lady. Yes, the new the new Dutch. I keep going to say Dutch man or English man or you know German man, Dutch, uh, Belgian man, but obviously they're women. So um, that was um, like I'm the new uh, Dutch woman to to break through, sort of thing. Imagine she was to win Lakeside. I, I'm getting carried away here, but she's into the quarterfinals. You can only you can only win it if you're in the in the the latter stages, can't you? So I'm guessing Bo Greaves is on tomorrow. I'm guessing Bo is on tomorrow. Let's double check that. Um. Oh, I've got bloody hiccups now. Two games left. Neil Duff against Justin Thompson and then Cameron Menzies, Ian Jones. Uh, tomorrow, the games are uh, Tribo Tricol against Sean Burt. Leonard Gates, Steve Hines. Uh, Baton's Paletti, Scott Marsh, Luke... Uh, James Richardson, Luke Littler versus Richard Veenstra, Brian Roman, Jared Cole. And on the women's, Dieter Hedman. Hang on, where the hell's Bo Greaves then? Bo Greaves is on Thursday. Oh, if she's on in the evening, I'll be so annoyed. She's not. Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, I might be able to watch. No, I won't be able to watch that. Oh. I won't be able to watch Bo Greaves because... On Thursday, I'm busy all day. Oh, that's irritating. Um, I don't take neighbours' parcels in. I tell them to F off and tell them to take a walk to the post office and collect the parcel, not to sit on your backside eating a pack of Doritos. Um, after that performance, I think she could get past um, Kirsty Hutchinson or Joe Clements. I think Rio O'Sullivan definitely gets to the semi-finals as well. By the way, in the women's, um, I, th I think the semi-finals will be Rio O'Sullivan. <sighs> Do I think Priscilla is going to get through? I'm not too sure. No, I'll say Kirst Kirsty Hutchinson. So I'll say Rihanna O'Sullivan versus Kirsty Hutchinson, semi final one. And semi final two, I'll go Dieter Hedman, Bo Greaves. What a quarter final that could be, by the way. Bo Greaves versus Makuro Suzuki in the quarter finals. All right, let's see what the poll is saying. Um, sixty-two percent Justin Thompson, thirty-eight percent Neil Duff at the moment. We're currently on seventeen likes as well, so make sure to hit the like button. Oh, true. 
Yes, that's actually true, Chris, to be fair. I might, I might only do three games. No, I, I can only do three games today. I was gonna say I might only do three games today because I am feeling. Um, I don't know why. All of a sudden, every time I do streams like this, I feel, I'm starting to feel tired. But then when I do streams like the the Pro Tool stream, which is like five six hours long, it feels like them. I I, I don't feel that tired. It's weird. Really weird. Like the long ones, I'm like, yeah, I'm fine with. Easy. And then these two hour ones, I'm like, oh God, when's it going to end sort of thing? I, I think that may be due to the fact that I'm so used to doing long five, six hour streams with the, the Pro Tour and, um, and stuff like that. I've not got the sound on, Chris. What's been said on the um, or what was said from Neil Duff? Because I, I I can't hear it. <sighs> At least we haven't got any you know what in this stream. But actually, I'm gonna. Wow. Right, I'm actually going to announce now that I won't be doing the, the evening session. Um, so, obviously, sorry for inconvenience, but... Um... Yeah, you got to back it up when you say something like that, yeah, 100%. Um, can't even spell. Is that how you spell inconvenience? Inconvenience. Yeah. Um, Right, I've just put something out on my community tab, so if uh, it, it's probably it'll probably just be easier if you uh, if you look at it on there. Um, yeah. By the way, I had sixty-five votes on. Um, Shall I bring Pro Tour streams back? 65 votes, 82% yes, 18% no. So Pro Tour streams will remain. Uh, watching Steve Hine a couple of days was blast from past with his walk on and throwing muffins to the crowd. Wait, did he actually do that the other day?
Was that Menzies in the crowd? I, I, I think that was Cameron Menzies in the crowd that he just went past. Oh, God, if he loses this game, if Neil Duff loses this game, it is going to be absolutely hilarious. Right, let's see who's got the darts in this. Can you imagine that at um, at the Ali Pali, Chris? You know, you know when you obviously I've never been to Ali Pali, but I've seen it on like pictures and stuff. When you walk into Ali Pali, um, and and you see the um, and you see the uh, the the sort of the stalls and stuff where you can buy like merchandise, and then you just see in the corner of and in the corner of your eye. Steve Steve Hines muffins for sale, and you're gonna have to like, oh, what? Steve Hines muffins, and then just see Steve Hine throwing muffins out to people walking in. The Duff Man is his nickname. It just means yes, Iron Force. Just yes. Yeah means yeah, yes. Hi, Robert. Thanks for tuning in, mate. I think it's Justin Thompson with the um, with the throw, potentially. No, I think it might be Duff, actually. This might be his final three practice darts before Duff starts the leg. Yeah, Neil Duff to start. Looks like, doesn't it? It looks like Joe Cullen's that. Uh, short for okay. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's end the poll on that one. 67% uh, went with um, Justin Thompson. Um, and then the final match is... Cameron Menzies against Ian Jones. Yeah, we, we've we've discovered that he is using Cullen's darts, yeah. I just want to make sure someone votes on the, the Cameron Menzies poll to make sure it's definitely up. So if you could drop a vote on it, that'll be much appreciated. There we are. Cameron Menzies is what the first person went with. I think it's going to be very, very one-sided. I think it might be a very, very one-sided vote for uh, for Menzies Jones. I'm waiting until someone votes for who actually thinks Ian Jones. Could this be the most one-sided prediction of all time on this channel? Could we see a Cameron Menzies 100%? That would be something, wouldn't it? I remember, I don't know if you guys remember this, but or people in the chat remember this, but in the World Championships, the PDC World Championships, um, I done a vote for the semi-final Michael Smith against James Wade. 
I, I remember this because this is the most ever votes I've ever had on a poll. But there was 497 votes or something like 400 and um, something votes. And it was like 87% Michael Smith. I was like, wow. Uh, Menzies to walk on with Sherrick Wig. Don't tell Boo, he'll be in the chat. So 25 for Neil Duff for 1-0. And he gets it. Neil Duff holds the throw, leads Justin Thompson in this first set by one leg to nil. I'd love to drop someone like Alan Suter or a Kim Hybrex in the WDF and just see what happens. Would they just storm and win the title or would they fall into a, someone like a, um, a Menzies or uh, a Roman? That would be interesting. Why is there a bloody gnat in this room? Piss off. It's because my... Because there's... Well, I don't know why it is, actually. I was going to say because the light's on, but it's not. Hi, Brian. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Need to get a new drink in a minute. Right, I'll get a drink af on the next break. So on the after the first set, I'll get a quick uh, drink and and prepare for set two. Where's Justin Thompson from? Is he from Australia or New Zealand? Because I can never get those flags. I'm going to say Australia. It looks like the Australia flag. But then again, the Australian and the, the New Zealand flag always bloody get me uh, muddled up, you could say. 106 for Thompson to hold the throw. Australia, right. Right, let me make a... Um... So 48 for Justin Thompson, 8 for Tops. This for one apiece, Justin Thompson. And it goes one leg apiece in this first set. Justin Thompson holds the throw. The game has gone on throw as it stands. Two legs on throw, two legs one on throw. Neil Duff. Slack visit there, you could say, from Duffy. Let's have a look at the Menzies vote again. Big up to everyone in the stream as well. We have just hit 20 likes. Thanks for your support. 80% Menzies. Wow. I am looking forward to the, the PDC majors. Um... Two grizzled vets of darts, this one is. Both already settled in. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. I didn't see what the averages were for um, Priscilla Steenberg. She won with a 70 average, to be fair. Please, if you're watching this, guys, do hit that subscribe button. Like the stream as well if you haven't, excuse me, already. 
Um, and if you do want to support the channel financially, you can do that by joining the members from as little as one ninety nine a month, or you can uh, send in a super chat hitting the little dollar sign from as little as seventy nine p. Um, if you do that, you will be on the bottom of the banner as either the latest donator, latest member, or if you donate more than uh, £4.57, uh, I think it is, you will be uh, the top donator as well. Jim McEwen in the crowd there. Uh, apart from our manager and staff, the whole Carlisle bench ran over to celebrate late equaliser in front of our fans. And Kevin Meller was a... Oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, the World Cup of Darts is the next one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping by then I've got a green screen and stuff. So, and then I'm hoping, this is what I'm praying anyway, I'm hoping by the World Championships, the PDC World Championships, we'll have a new laptop. So I'll have a subscriber account, like really small in the top right corner. I'll have me in the Ali Pali stage and then I'll have like your chat to the side. So it won't be on StreamYard, basically. It'll be on. Uh, it'll be on either OBS or um, something else. Anyway, Justin Thompson takes out tops to take it eighty-two leads. Neil Duff by two legs to one breaks the Duff throw, and he's now throwing for the set. Do it how you had the Wales game. Um. No, I, I want to. I'm trying to look towards like improving. Like this is what I mean. I, I love. I, I said this the other day. I love having you know you guys on the stream. It's absolutely unreal. But if you ever do have criticism of the streams, then let me know. I I want to know. Um, like if the, if you think there's anything I could do better or anything you think I don't do as well, then let me know because it does help. Because obviously I've not got no team behind me. It's literally myself. So. I've got no one to no one in my ear saying you're doing this wrong or you're doing that too much or something like that. So if ever you do have constructive criticism, not just taking the piss, of course, but like constructive criticism, then always open to that. And I'm not going to do a Harry Maguire. I'm not going to cry about it saying I'm getting abused. Only Tramia fan, uh, one Tramia fan did try run. Uh, towards Mella. Luckily, Stewart got him. Otherwise, the worst could have happened. We don't know these days. Yeah, true. But yeah, I, I, I want criticism. Not not want criticism. That's a bad thing to say. Um, I want to be... I want you to know that you can criticise, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's get on with this. Um, oh, Justin Thompson, two poor darts there. Personally, I'd be switching here because Nick Falwell in the crowd. Oh, good dart from Nick from uh, Neil Duff there. Got so many players on my on my mind. I've just seen Nick Falwell in the crowd. I've seen Jim McEwen in the crowd, and I got to focus on um, Justin Thompson against Neil Duff. It's so hard when you've got. And you're thinking about so many players. But Thompson needs a treble. And he's going down for the 19s. Gets the 57. Oh, what a shot from Neil Duff. Breaks the Justin Thompson throw. Levels up this set. And now he is throwing. To serve this set out. Uh, Martin Adams is in the crowd. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. If after a stream, one of one of you, or during the stream, you think, oh, I, I don't know why he's, he's doing that, or I don't know why he's saying that, then let me know. Because, like I said, it's so much easier with other streamers or other channels because they've got people that work behind the scenes that they can say that to, but... Once I finish a stream, I'm like, right, well, that was perfect because I've got no one else to tell me otherwise. It's a great shot from Duff, one, two, five. 
very nearly hit the maximum. Needs a treble, Thompson. Oh, poor. That's a poor visit there, 43. And it allows Neil Duff back into this game. 83. Leaves 193. So Harry Maguire. Um, no, uh, uh, no, we needed a testimonial for Harry Maguire, mate. Did you see what they've done at Old Trafford for Harry Maguire? My God. Jesus. When I saw it, I was like, you are taking the piss. You are taking the mick. It was a, it was literally a banner that one of the United fans in the Stratford end got. And it was like, we stand by Harry. And I was like, what? What a load of rubbish. What? And when they when they when they announced his name, they were like singing the Harry Maguire chant. I was like, "Wow, what has this turned into?" Ninety six, double eighteen for the set. Neil Duff takes set number one, leads Justin Thompson by one set to nil. Takes it out on the ninety, uh, non nineteen on the ninety six sixty, followed by double eighteen for the set. Um, yeah, exactly, Chris. Right, I'm going to go for a quick break. Um, if anyone joins and stuff like that and, and asks where I am, then just tell them that I've just gone to get a drink and stuff. Um, I will still, I'll take my phone with me just in case there is someone that we need to ban or, or time out or anything like that. Uh, so I'll see, speak to you in a second. And yeah, I'll speak to you when I'm back. There we are. Uh, flip, flip, yeah, flip flops, hundred percent. Um, right. Oh. 
Oh, still on the adverts. I went on to another tab to see um to or I got off it to see if it was off the adverts yet. Yeah, still no, still on the adverts. Someone said it yesterday. I think it might have been Chris actually that said about the the advert breaks. I don't like these advert these breaks in play. I'd much prefer it to be um, on BBC. Imagine the PDC World Championships on B on BBC. So you have all of your matches, no breaks, but after like a set or two. Um, they would go to like Wayne Maddle. Well, may maybe not Wayne Maddle, but they would go to like the pundits after, you know, a match or something, speak to them after that game and then do like the, the promotional videos that they do um, for a certain player or a certain game and do it that way instead. Rather than go to an advert and then come back, no talking about the game. So I noticed they, they only talk about the games during the games. They, there's there's not much sort of break where they discuss the games. This should be an interesting remainder of the game, I think. 89% of the vote saying Cameron Menzies, by the way. Yeah, the Champions League of darts died, didn't it, really? It was awful. The coverage and... Oh, it was just an awfully run tournament. Darts should have one event, one PDC event on BBC. They have it on ITV4. They should have one on BBC and then the rest on Sky. The problem is, which one do you put on BBC? Because you can't put the Worlds on there. You can't put the Match Play on there because those are iconic to Sky. You can't put the Grand Slam on there. You can't put the Grand Prix on there. So what do you put on BBC? Let's hope it's not a good omen. Let's hope what happened the last time you played Benfica in a knockout game. The World Cup? Um, no, nah, I, I think the World Cup deserves to be on Sky as well. See, that's what I mean. It would, it would have to be a, a not a rubbish tournament, but it would, it would have to be a tournament that has not got... Yeah, that, that is the one, actually. Yeah, Tim, players' championship finals. Yeah. Or, or, better idea, now, now this one would be a better idea, the UK Open, because what you could do is you could have the main stage on BBC One and you could have the red button for board two, board three, and maybe a board four. And you could put them in different parts of the venue and have and link it up to a streaming um, website where they don't do any commentary or any pun, any pundits maybe. Just you see those games on the red button because BBC has that platform where ITV doesn't have a red button service platform to distribute other games whilst a main board is playing. And and plus, ITV, uh, BBC have got the BBC iPlayer, so they could say like BBC iPlayer stream one, BBC iPlayer stream two and three would show the board two, three and four. Imagine that. Imagine that, right? You could have streaming board. The main stage would be Van Gogh versus a random player, Kybrex. That would be your stage one game. And then on stage two, you've got Rob Cross versus Aspinall. Board, uh, stage three or board three, you've got Damon Hetter versus Ryan Searle. And then fourth, you've got like um, Peter Wright versus... Um, Danny Nopper. So you can have four quality games and you could pick which one you want to watch. I know you can watch on Dart Connect in the current format, but let's be fair. What, what would you rather watch it on Dart Connect or see the actual darts go in the board? So that that would be... I've, I've just made a, 
an absolute revolutionary idea there. Uh, Neil Duff has one leg one of set two as well. Um, I did see that going, but I was uh, talking. He did have six starts at 170, did take it in the six. But that would be unreal, that would. Because the Players' Championship Finals is not that big of a field, is it? It's 64, where the, the UK Open is like 1-5. Well, there's one to eight tour card holders. There's 16 Riley's qualifiers. It's like one, five, six, isn't it, for the UK Open? Maybe even more? No, it's probably more. Let me have a look. How many entered the UK Open? Let's have a look. Um... One two eight, one three two, one three six, one three six, one forty, one four four, uh, one sixty. Yeah, one sixty was the field for the UK Open. You need to tell. You need to go get onto them and tell them to do it. But it's the PDC. Let's be honest. They are about as consistent as pigeon shit in Carlisle Town. Square with their decisions at times, inconsistent. Yeah. And and that's true. ITV, but then again, IT have got ITV have got the, the players' championship finals and the masters. And the, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the, the most likely situation would be. And I, I would hate this to happen, but the most likely situation of BBC getting any sort of rights would be the World Series finals. Uh, and and they're pointless if you ask me. I, I don't see. I, I love the enjoyment of them, seeing like players like hung from Hungary and from Gibraltar, you know, testing themselves against the the PDC players. But apart from that, there's no sort of real competitive element to it. My dad, my stream has frozen irritatingly. <coughs> what a great time for this to happen! So bear with me, let me try and sort this out. Right, there we go. It's back now. Oh, it's 2 0 to Neil Duff now. Neil Duff is now 2 0 up in set number two. And the thing is, if you're in ITV situation, you're you could you could say, well, well, what's the point in taking the rights off us when it's been successful on ITV for however many years? So that's the problem. They've got no reason to sell their rights. So maybe Neil Duff is. Oh, what a 171 from Neil Duff. Oh, come on, Justin. I agree, by the way. I'd love it on BBC. And the problem is, ITV have more revenue. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. They wouldn't need to sell. They or they don't need to sort of step aside. And not just that. Um, they have adverts, don't they, where BBC don't maybe that's why they've never really put any events on, on BBC because of that reason. I think that's maybe why the, the Champions League failed miserably. Cause let's be fair, that the Champions League of Darts was awful. That was a that was an awful tournament. I, I would even argue. I know people are going to slate me for this, but I'd argue 
the World Series of Darts was more competitive and more of a major than that. And that's that's a real unpopular opinion. Double 10 goes for Neil Duff. He takes a two-set lead over Justin Thompson. He could be right about him saying he's going to win 3-0. Maybe not winning the whole tournament, but he may be right that he might win this one by three sets to nil. He's currently 2-0 up. He's got the throw in leg one of set three. See what the voting is looking like. Yeah, 80% camera Menzies. Oh, I just realised I've still got the um, the old banner. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. So it's been saying I'll be back shortly for the last 40 minutes. Like, well, last like 10, 15 minutes whilst I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bless me. Like I said, big up to everyone in the stream. Does um, massively help your support. Yeah, it's always going to um, revolve around money, isn't it? Do you know what? I actually like the fact that there's arrogant people in darts because imagine if we were, imagine if all the professionals and all the players in every tournament were the same. Like they, they don't, they're like, oh, I'm just taking it game by game by game. Imagine that, how boring it would be and how awful it would be for like media and stuff to get their clicks. That's why, the, that's why they get their clicks. For when people are arrogant, like Neil Duff in this, in the PDC circuit like peter wright when he says it going price when he says it van going that's why they say it well that's why the the media not force them to say it because i have a, a few good mates that are actually in the dart in media which we've got on the channel in in the last few weeks so obviously i'm not going to criticize them but that's how they get their money so and fair play to them you pose the question and you're going to get a if basically if you prod at a bee stick, you're going to get a beehive. You're going to get uh, stung, aren't you? So it's exactly what they're doing. I love that saying. If you prod at a beehive, you're going to get stung. Basically, if you're going to double turn for Duff, or if you're going to ask questions that are going to get a response, you are going to get that response. One four nine for Justin Thompson could go fifty seven for thirty two. No way. Double sixteen for the one four nine. What a shot, Justin Thompson! Wow, Justin Thompson, the one four nine sixty fifty seven thirty two. Takes out the 149 against Daniel uh, Daniel <laughs> against Neil Duff. It's gonna say Daniel Duff. Sounds like uh, the ex Fulham player, Damian Duff. What a player he was. Still can't believe it's four years since um, Eric Bristow passed away. That is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Do you know what? I'm going to... Uh, I, I don't know whether putting rest in peace Eric Bristow in the title is is a is a, is a good... Let me, let me know, guys. Do you think that's a bit stupid to put that in the title? Because I, I do want to put it in there to, to just show respect. But if you think I shouldn't do it, let me know because... It might seen it might be seen as disrespectful. Yeah, it it probably will come across as disrespectful. I only just thought of that to be honest. I could, I wish I would have thought that at the start of the stream, but Daniel Donald, who cares? <laughs>
Yeah, exactly. That that's why I was like, yeah, that that is a bit. Cause, no, because I I just know what will happen if I do that. Basically, what happened yesterday, Chris. I have a feeling that would happen today, and I really don't want that. I don't want to hear anything about that. You know exactly what I mean without going into it. Right, 41 then. One for tops for Neil Duff. Big dart at tops this for Duff. And it goes. Neil Duff breaks Justin Thompson straight back. One leg apiece between Duff and Johnson. Duff has the darts in leg three of set. Three. And he is potentially going to be throwing four. This 3 0 scoreline that he told us he was going to win by. Yeah, if anything does happen like that in the future with like a pass in a way, that's what I will do. Just it's just to show respect or something, isn't it? So actually, there is something I need to put in the title. That I keep forgetting to do. And someone on Twitter messaged me about this and they said, You've done it once and then you've never done it again. Right, where's it gone? Right, let's just make sure it's in the title. There we are. That right, is actually done. Big up to everyone in the stream as well, guys. Like I can say it is massively appreciated. So he's left one oh four. Neil Duff for a 2-1 lead in set three. Like I said, sorry to any inconvenience, but there won't be a evening session stream tonight. Um, I Wednesday, I might be able to do both Wednesday. Thursday, I can't do any streams for the WDF. Um, Friday, maybe I'll do both. No, Friday, I'm doing Euro Tour. Euro Tour qualifiers Friday, Saturday Newport Swindon, Sunday Pro Tour, um, and maybe the WDF final. Busy, busy week for the channel. Busy. Neil, uh, Justin Thompson misses the ball for the 1 2 2. So Neil Duff wants double 10 for a 2 1 lead, and it goes. Neil Duff leads Justin Thompson. In set number three by two legs to one, he is one leg away from a place in the last 16. Uh, Duffy's backing up his mouth, but wasn't the reason I picked him. More to go wrong with uh, Justin's relief. Uh, more to go wrong with Justin's release. Yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say the the sort of, I want to see it again when he throws his next visit. Great one, two, five there for, for Neil. But let me see it. I don't know what it is that is the problem with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the flick of the wrist. I think it's that flick of the wrist. When it releases the hand, it's it's that. It's the opening up of the hand. And the outward reach of the dart. Watch, watch as he watch as he comes back to release. It's it's sort of when he when he brings it back. It's sort of there. Is that is that opening up when he releases his dart and he opens it up slightly too much, which makes the dart forced. It doesn't. It's not an eloquent throw. You look at Neil's and it's. And it's it's straight back to straight straight arm straight throw, and he follows through with the dart. Where where Justin's is the opening of the hand, releasing too quickly. Um, 
releasing too slowly, actually. I, 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 either sw slowly or quickly, either way, but it makes you force the dart. And he's hit a 140 with it, to be fair, but that's it's not a long term fix, is it? Great turn there for Neil Duff. 160 for Thompson. It's not going to go. So Neil Duff will have two match darts, you imagine. You'd imagine that there's going to be two match darts for Neil Duff. No. No. 56 to leave tops. Excuse me. But the turn to keep Justin Thompson's hopes alive. 80 left. No, no, Justin. Is this going to be the final that he throws at Lakeside at single 15? Because Neil Duff has free in hand for tops. Double ten. Good marker. Wow, he's come inside. Neil Duff comes inside up double ten, which gives Justin Thompson a huge opportunity. Tops for Thompson. Needs needs to go lower. Needs to go lower. Oh, and he's oh he's not put the same he's put the same elevation on it. Double ten for a uh, double five. Sorry for Neil Duff. Gerwin Price won the world championship on it. Oh, wow. Neil Duff has been given chances by Justin Thompson to finally wrap it up. Thompson first out at tops and it goes. Justin Thompson levels up this third set. And it is Justin. Is it Justin to throw first? Yeah, it should be. No, it should be Neil Duff, isn't it? Yeah, Neil Duff to throw first in the decider. Going to say then, uh, Justin Thompson looked like he was about to throw it. Only 55 from that visit, but Justin Thompson might end up matching him. 45 big moments here. He's gotten hot and won many one-day events, but these formats are like throwing in the dark for the likes to win, for his likes to win. Needs a treble, Justin. Gets a treble last dart, takes the turn. But Neil Duff has the throw, needs a treble. Probably needs another one, Neil Duff. It's a great 140. <coughs> yeah, Stephen, um, Chris said that to me at the start of the game. Duff said that he was going to win 3-0. Just to clarify, like I said, there won't be an evening session stream um, this evening, just to make sure that you guys know, um, due to me just going to have a, a rest this evening and, and have, a, have an early night, because uh, I've got a few things to do in the morning before I do the afternoon session. So, um, so yeah, and I need to do a few things when I end the stream in next hour or so as well so hopefully you guys do understand hopefully it's all good oh what a shot that from neil duff oh i thought you had 180 to be fair well, i can set this up then neil duff just needs a treble and he's gone ball fair enough 70 at uh, 90 sorry to leave 71 
71 for Duff to win the match. And it goes. Neil Duff beats Justin Thompson by three sets to nil. He told us he was going to do it. And Neil Duff has won by three sets to nil. To be fair, look, I, I love people that are arrogant, but if you can back it up, then fair play, like fair play. There's li literally nothing you can say. Fair play. You he said he was going to win 3 0, and he has. So the next game, of course, is the final game of the session. Cami Menzies. Uh, will be taking on Ian Jones. My tip to win the WDF, Cameron Menzies, is on next against Ian Jones. 80% of the votes are going with Menzies for this one. So keep voting on that poll. I will take the poll down once uh, both players have walked on and we're about to start that match. But I believe we're going to an advert break. Yeah. Imagine Veenstra Me uh, Menzies final. Yeah, that, that would be something, wouldn't it? And the thing is, I'll be doing a watch long for that as well. Hopefully, if the um if the Pro Tour finishes on time on the sun on Sunday. Because I I'm gonna make a um I'm gonna make a schedule. I've got a, a book like behind me which my mum bought. How, how nice is this, right? My mum bought me a um a book to uh to plan all my like streams and stuff i was like oh cheers so i'll after this i'll i'll work out what i've come in, what i've got coming for the rest of the week um and then i'll put that on my community tab and then going forward from next week we'll do it every sunday um so you guys know exactly what to expect on the channel um every week and what times as well uh, so neil duff nick fullwell that should be a good game jim McEwen, mike warburton that could be a good game. Luke Littler, Richard Veenstra, good game. Brian Roman, Jared Cole, good game so far. So all of the games so far are going to be good games in um, the last 16 of uh, the men's WDF. The winner of Cameron Menzies, Ian Jones, will play Wayne Warren, Lee Shewan. Unfortunately, despite being Welsh, I think Wayne Warren loses that. Um, and in the women's side of it... Um, Priscilla Steenbergen will play Kirsty Hutchinson or Joe Clemens. Rhian O'Sullivan will play Maria O'Brien in the quarterfinals. The winner of Dieter Hedman, Tori Kurish will play the winner of Lorraine Wynn Stanley, Vicky Pruim. And then the winner of uh, Eileen de Graff um, against Makura Suzuki will play the winner of Bo Greaves, Veronica Ihas. Eh, how do you say that? Ihas. I'm going to type it in the chat. How the hell do you say that? It it has... I don't know. <coughs> it it has... It has... I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, Veronica, if you're watching. Uh, I even felt tired doing third game on my watch long yesterday. I, I went to... Um, Watch your watch line back, and and it said it's removed. Did you uh, get rid of it or something? Presume, and you did. Cameron Menzies, Cameron Menzies, do 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 do. Please don't let me down, Cammy. I hope Menzies doesn't let me down. It was a bit like Veenstra yesterday, wasn't it, Chris? He was just like sort of praying that Richard Veenstra would, would get over the line so he didn't look like an idiot. It's the same here with Menzies. Just get past the first get past the first round. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough, mate. 
Um, let me see if anyone's live that we could potentially raid at the end of the stream. Uh, along Veen reaches that stage, then no one can laugh. Yeah, very true, very true. Yeah, no one's live yet. Oh, Swansea playing Millwall tonight. Bloody hell, Swansea, right? La Swansea's last two games, Cardiff away, Millwall away. Bloody hell. We know what they've done to Cardiff. Have that, Cardiff. Bless me. Bless me, sorry. Oh. Right, Cameron Menzies is winning the vote, but look, you guys don't, uh, as much as I love the, the people that watch the channel, you guys don't um, decide whether Menzies wins. So hopefully um, all of us predicting Cameron Menzies to win this game are right. Cameron Menzies must be um but where's it gone? Men's rankings, WDF. Um apparently Luke Little is the second in the world on the um I'm trying to. Cameron Menzies is. Yeah, Cameron Cameron Men Cameron Menzies is not even on the um. Is not even on the world rankings for the WDF, and Ian Jones is twenty third in the world. 23rd in the world. So, that I don't even get the, the whole ranking system for that. Uh, speaking of Chris, the video of Edgar talking about Cammy having a turd has been hilarious banter talk for a few weeks. Between talks back and forth across the Atlantic. Yeah, do you remember that when he was at, that was a was it a Q school or a pro tour? Q school, wasn't it? I wish I was still doing oh, I wish I started darts content then. Just waiting for the Cameron Menzies game to start. Uh, Duff has turned it down when he found out that that he's got. Wait, hang on. Duff has tuned or tuned. Sorry, Duff, Duff has tuned it down. Um, tuned it down when he found out that he's got full well next. He said that'd be more tougher, but I'll still be here after the match. <laughs> oh wow. I need to start doing some more like general darts videos. Like I love doing the streams, but I might do like some prediction videos for not for this year's Premier League, but for next year's Premier League. I might I might do that. Like I know we do it on the podcast, but I might do like a little short for like 30 seconds just running through my predictions. Like so very quick predictions, I'll just say. Tonight's predictions, I'm going with Gouin Price, 6, Mark Van Gouin, 5, Johnny Clayton, 5, uh, Joe Cullen, 6, something like that. And just because I think I do so much live content that I do need to bring some actual 
sit down recorded videos sometime soon. It's just what to do it on, really, isn't it? Because I don't want to start doing like random videos for the sake of it. <coughs> Um, big up for everyone watching. Uh, we're currently on 24 likes. We're six likes away from 30. If you're watching this and you've not yet hit the like button, um, it does massively help if you do uh, hit the like button and subscribe. It you know increases the um, or it helps the the channel grow and, and push forward, um, which hopefully will allow us to add sort of graphics to the stream and stuff like that andre welcome in andre thanks for tuning in mate hope everything is well um thanks for um again coming in and showing your support there will be a well i need to i need to check something but i think we potentially may be looking at a new moderator sometime soon so <coughs> I just need to check how many we've currently got on the channel. And I think I will... I think I'm going to take away the moderators that don't really um, come into the streams as much because we need moderate. We need moderators to be people that are constantly in the um, in the stream, if that makes sense. Uh, you should do like League 2 predictions every week for next season if Newport are still in it, unless they're in League 1. Yes, I am doing that, Andre. Yes, they are returning by popular demand as well. Um, that type of video is returning. A few people have said to me, you should... Because um, I did it at the start of last season. Um, they are still on the channel if you you know want to go back and have a look at them. I know they're old, but um, you know they were, they were quite fun to record. Um, so, yeah, they, they definitely will 100% be returning, mate, 100%. So, uh, and he's good and safe, which is always good. Right. Um, right, moderators. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only four or five come in regular. Yeah, we're going to have we're gonna have one more. We're going to have one more moderator. Um, I know who it is as well. So uh, as soon as they type in the chat, I'll, oh, I can do it now, actually. Um, if you don't want to be a moderator, though, please do let me know because I can I can take it away. But um, um, so if you if you don't want that sort of um, thing, then then do let me know in the chat. But I have done it now, so. Cammy Menzies. Is Fallon there? Yeah, Fallon's there. It's official darts media and players overwhelmingly have no clue how to pick walk on music. I've not got the um the walk on music, but let me know if you can uh, if you can see notice a certain thing I enforce, mate. Uh, 85% Karen Menzies, 15% Ian Jones. Right, I'm going to put a different poll in the chat, which is not related to any darts matches. Um, Right, there we are. I've just put something in the chat as a new poll. Nothing to do with this tournament, nothing to do with the, the tournament in general or any games. Um, it's just something I want your overall feedback on. Um, and I will be forwarding this on to um, my community page as a poll as well. Um, it's something that, I, like I said, in the the title of the, the poll. I need your guys' feedback on this. Um, uh, 
Come on, Cammy. Fallon will give you a big hug when you uh, when you win this. If you win this, and I notice I say hug. I'm not saying anything else. Hug. That's all it's down to. That's all it's down to. It's all it's going to be. Sorry. I think I better shut up. To be honest. So it's Ian Jones with the throw, I think. Yep, it is. I didn't see what he hit there. A ton. Yeah, you've you've shown in, in the streams, Iron Force, that you, you you're always in, you're always showing support, and I thought, oh, I thought, yeah, that's uh, that's what we'll do. There we are. We've got and we've got eight moderators now. We've got four, three or four that regularly tune into pretty much every single stream that we do, and then we've got three or four sort of reserves that are. Just in case, like they they do tune in. I'll tell you what, Menzies is playing some excellent stuff here. It's probably because it, it's probably because he's been on the pro tour all year, hasn't it? Or the start of the year, and excuse me, he's been good on the pro tour. Not just been there; he's been good on it, very good on it. To be fair, looks like you guys do want to see some more uh, recorded. That's videos then. Right, we'll, we'll we'll sort that out. Ian Jones is nicknamed the Whippet. I don't know why I've got um a snivelly nose all of a sudden. So tops for Menzies, and it goes. Cameron Menzies leads. Ian Jones breaks. The Jones throw, he leads by one leg to nil. In set one, Cammy is looking like this could be a easy win for him, in my opinion. I think this is 3-0. 3-0, in my opinion. What did you say, Chris, if you're still in the chat, mate? I think you said either 3-0 or 3-1, wasn't it? One three four from Menzies. Oh, this is brilliant. One forty from Cami Menzies to leave one two seven. So one two seven for Menzies. Trouble 19, 4, 10 to leave. 1, 2, set. Oh, yeah, to leave tops. I was wondering what he'd done then. I was like, why have you gone 10? thought he was on uh, 40 with that last dart in hand. Appreciate the confidence. But as long as Chris and others are in, I'll defer. Uh, just give me a heads up. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's just it's just an extra it's just an extra body in as a moderator because it, it's so hard when like what happened yesterday to to keep my eyes on that and to keep my eyes on the chat. Like I want to after a while I want to be able to not look at the chat for apart from like actual genuine questions. I want to just look at the chat for you asking questions or you talking about the stream that we're doing. Because at sometimes I'm I'm looking, just making sure there's no bad people in. So yeah, I, I after a while it, it I won't be so focused on that. It's just after yesterday I'm I'm even more um, sort of wary and alert.
60. And this is on the Jones throw, so... So, yeah, it looks like you guys do want some more recorded um, videos. Obviously, I'll have to work out what sort of videos I'll do um, as just a recorded video, but most of the stuff I can do as a live stream, like watch longs, you, you can't do that recorded, obviously. Um, the podcast, maybe I might look at one episode of the podcast if we haven't got time to go live. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll record an episode or... But then again, the, the podcast needs sort of people's chats in it. Double 12 for Menzies. Cameron Menzies takes the first set. One set to nil for Cameron Menzies. He leads the whip it by one set to nil. <coughs> one nil. I'd, I'd expect it to go to two nil and three nil, if I'm honest. Ooh. Don't know what the hell advert I'm watching at the moment. Some bloody Empire game or something. Imagine the WDF on BBC. Um, no, it's, it's all been smooth today, Grant. It's all been... Uh, has all been smooth. I might have a I might have a bit of a throw after this stream, to be fair. I'm feeling in the mood to to have a bit of a bit of a practice. Get the average up a little bit. Oh I won't do it on um I won't do a stream of it though, like of playing, but <coughs> I, I might have a, a little chuck tonight. The thing is, I, I won't obviously be streaming the the evening session, but I'll still be watching it. I'll still be watching the afternoon session. And there's some interesting games in there, I think. What did we what did we say? We said it earlier, didn't we? We said it earlier what the, the games are. Um ah, evening session. Yeah, so Horrell against Desmaru. Decent. Van Dongen de Vreed. We know what um Chris thinks of Van Dongen. Uh, Warren against Shewan. And then in the women's, Hutchinson against Clements. So, and also, I'm limiting. I'm limiting the content on my channel now to to stuff that's just around me. The only thing on it is Newport vlogs or any anything to do with Newport. So everything to do with Newport. Um, that's content and Wales. That's literally it anymore. I I'm not going to do like random streams anymore. Um, I just don't see the point in it, to be honest. Just really don't see the point. It has no relevance to me. So, right, I've passed 1,000. Um, 1,000? <laughs> God, uh, we've not passed 1,000. Uh, we're nearly past uh, 30. I don't even know why I said that. We're nearly past 30 likes on the stream. So please make sure 
to hit the like button, guys. There's four likes away from that. So if you're watching this and you've not yet hit the like button, please make sure to do that. And if you're also watching and you've not yet hit the uh, the subscribe button, please make sure that the subscribe um, button, um, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you do want to donate to the channel, like I say, all donations are massively appreciated due to them being obviously a financial um, donation. So um, you could donate to the channel from as little as 79, 79p, um, the little dollar sign in the bottom right hand bottom right hand corner, I think it is the little dollar uh, sign. And you can also join the uh, join the channel as a member from as little as one ninety nine a month. Like I say, those are massively massively appreciated if you guys uh, do that. So yeah, uh, what's your take? What's your take? People slating the WDF players. Um, I've not really seen much of that sort of stuff going on to be honest with you uh mate but look i said at the start i said yesterday when i done excuse me when i done the afternoon session of um the, the day yesterday that obviously i know the standard is is nowhere near the pdc and that's obvious so i said i'm not expecting like 90 100 average i'm expecting 60 average to like 85 90 that's what I'm expecting. So, I, I, for me personally, I I don't see a problem with it. I I, I like the WDF. I'm glad there's another organisation um, to sort of be alongside the PDC. Um, but yeah, people that slate it, I think that's a bit just arrogant and and petulant personally. But you know, we're all entitled to our opinion, and that's why I think. That's why I love doing this because, you know, we can all have different opinions on different stuff. I could think that um, – I, I know I don't. I, I don't, by the way. So this is not my opinion. But I could think that the WDF was pointless and they should have just kept to uh, only being the PDC. And then other people could be thinking, hang on a minute. No, the PDC is is great, but we missed the BDO. We missed Lakeside, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously I'm in the camp of – um, wanting the WDF, of course, but you know that's the that's the beauty of opinion. Oh fucking hell! What is that now? Everything's dropping. That is the um, that is the beauty of of opinion, isn't it? So personally, I think they they're a bit arrogant to say that, but they have the right to say that if they want to. Basically, the long winded <laughs> the long winded way round of answering your question. Double 10. Oh, he's just come inside on double 10, Menzies. So Jones wants 57, 17 for tops. Double 10. Big dart for Ian Jones, and it does go. Breaks the Cameron Menzies throw. Leads in set number two by one leg to nil. One, two, five from Menzies. This is great on against the throw name, Menzies. If he can break, he's then throwing for a 2-1 lead. So despite losing that first leg of the set, it's still massively in Menzies' favour. It feels so weird seeing Cameron Menzies like playing in the WDF when you've literally seen him at the weekend um playing the in the um in the pro tour because that's his that's his um what what's it called that's his um that's his he his home now his home is the PDC but he's playing in this for obviously obvious reasons wasn't being in um or he wasn't a tour card holder when they announced it 
Double 14 for Cameron Menzies. Take out the 107. Breaks Ian, Ian Jones straight back. He is now throwing for a 2 1 lead in set two. Slack visit that. Needs a treble. He's going to get it. Good visit that. Good switching as well down to the 19s. Blocked the 20 with that number one. Trouble 19, single 19 on the cover shooting. It's all right hitting like big, big shots, isn't it? Like 140s, 180s. But if you can, if, if you're a good cover shooter, you, you will be a good player because when you block it, to know when to switch is the best, is one of the most crucial things to have. When to switch when you've blocked the dart or Cameron Menzies, 140 to leave, 128. So depending on what Ian Jones hits, he may have six darts at 128. Only a 60 from Ian Jones. So he will have six darts at this Menzies. Treble 18, 42 for 32 for the 128. Single 14 for 20. Leaves himself tops. Don't blame him going that. Ian Jones was not on a finish, so just make itself easy for you rather than potentially stumbling around. Tops for Menzies, and it goes. Cameron Menzies leads Ian Jones from 1-0 down in the set. Menzies is 2-1 up. I need to check something about Cameron Menzies. Um, oh, his nickname is just Cammy. Oh, it's very boring. That's very boring. Uh, Menzies. Great 140 from Menzies there. I like that using the, the 19s. Um, I'm back now. Welcome back, Chris. Welcome back, pal. Oh, 40, 45, poor. I was wondering, Chris, did you want a um a little practice session after this stream? Not live. I'll just send you the link to this stream uh, if you wanted it. Obviously, like I said, not live. It'll just be us throwing and... All right, double six for Ian Jones to hold the throw. And it goes in one. Ian Jones levels up set number two. Cameron Menzies has the dart in it. And it's a great 140. When you've got the dart in a deciding leg in a set and you go 140, it forces the opposition or the, the opposing player to, to hit something massive. Oh, slack dart to the... Even try to get people on for them predictions every week. Oh, you mean the, the League 2 predictions or League 1? Well, if we're in League 2, me and Chris have got, have got a plan for that. If we're in League 1, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But So, there is some positives to if we, do, no, if we don't go up. 180 from Cami to leave 98 for the set. It's a fantastic leg of darts in the decider from Cammy Menzies. Ian Jones off 245. Has left himself 122, but 98 for Menzies. Treble 18 for double 12, and he misses. Oh, it comes inside on double 12. So Ian Jones, an outside shot of 122 for a level game. 
Travel 18, another one of them for 14. 18 for the ball. What a shot from Ian Jones. 1-2-2 two, two on the ball. Ian Jones levels up this last 16 tie. Cameron Menzies can only clap to Ian Jones celebrating the 1-2-2 two, two on the ball. The whip it. One, two, one from Cammy. He's going to want to get this over and done with quickly, isn't he? Wait, I think Chris predicted 3 1. Did you predict 3 1, Chris? Because if you did, that might genuinely be happening. Yeah, that's what I said. If we don't go up, then um, then you'll be the one for, for doing the weekly predictions with. Um, and what we'll do is we'll... Um, oh, 3-2 Menzies. Um, and we'll do a, a leaderboard. So it'll be... Me, it'll be Mike, Chris, and then get uh, Mike, Chris, guests, and or Mike, Chris, and comments or viewers, and see who wins at the end of the season. Three points for a correct scoreline, one point for a correct result, um, and then yeah, just see who and just see who wins at the end of the season out of me, you, or the viewers. Eighteen for double sixteen for Menzies, and it goes. Cameron Menzies leads one leg to nil in set three. They've lost his dart. <laughs> uh, another idea, we could get table prediction start of the season and get points for each position you get right at the end of the season. Yeah, that could be something else we, we consider. Oh. oh, I'm not looking forward to reacting to my um to my table predictions, Chris. I, I've got that. I've got the thumbnail planned for that already. About me reacting to the start of the season's predictions, and it will be a premiere as well. I will set it as a premiere so uh, people can because I can't do it as a live stream because um. People will be chatting whilst I'm, whilst I'm trying to get through the video. So I'll I'll record it, like edit it all, put it as a premiere, so then you can join in the premiere. What and like I'll chat with the comments during the premiere if that makes sense. Because some of the positions I got were absolute stinkers. In fact, I need to go through that as well. That's something else I need to go through and um and um what do you call it? I need, I need to go through that and um, work out what I said and what is, is going to happen. Tops for Jones, double 10. Doesn't go. Cameron Menzies wants 64 for 2-0 in set three. And he misses Tops. Wait, what was he looking at? Cameron Menzies was looking to his left. There's, is there something happening or something on stage? Tops, double turn for Menzies. And it goes. And he gives a bit of a roar. He gives it to Ian Jones. He leads by two legs to nil in set three. 
there must be like something going on on stage or something because both Ian Jones and Menzies both looked over. It might be nothing. It might just be them looking at how many they require because it's to the left, isn't it? 24 scored from Menzies. Need to 140. A turn maybe, maybe all right. Gamesmanship. Um, yeah, I've done all. I can't remember actually. I think I've done quite bad on League Two, to be fair. I know I said Swindon would go down at the start of the season, and if they go up, that'll be that'll be one of the worst ones. You cheeky get Cameron Menzies. Cameron Menzies when Trouble Nineteen tops tops. Ian Jones misses the ball for 119. So Cameron Menzies tops for the set. And it goes. Cameron Menzies is two sets to one up on Ian Jones. <coughs> yeah, that's very true. They've got some good players in that Swindon team, though. I'm I'm worried for for tomorrow, tomorrow for for Saturday. Sorry, I am a bit worried because they got like Brandon Cooper at the back, which we had last season. He's a very good centre back for for League Two, and um, they've got Johnny Williams in there. Still too good for League Two, in my opinion. Let's have a look at the this squad a second because. Um, are we going for another break? Are we? Why is there another break? Um, uh, let me look at this squad. Um, yeah, so that's. No, an order position. So Wallacott, Odomeo, um, Bowdry is good, Gladwin is decent, Jack Payne, uh, Brandon Cooper, obviously, um, Mitchell Lawson, Louis Barry, Johnny Williams. Uh, they've got an Italian. What the hell? Um, Oh, Harvey Fox is a good defender. Um, wait, Kessler Hazen left. Yeah, Harry McCurdy. You take you take away Harry McCurdy's goals, and they and they take away eighteen of their goals all in all competitions. So Harry McCurdy has has dragged them into a. Uh, into a promotion race in place. Um, you watch the game on um, Eurosport. I think it's on Discovery as well, isn't it? Well, it's definitely on Eurosport. Uh, how many 180s does Menzies have right now? Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. If anyone in the chat knows, because I can't find a way to find out like 180s check or anything. Um, He's definitely had at least one, 100% had at least one. Um, could they show more cutaways of Fallon? We may catch her picking that nose of hers. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let boo you. You say that iron force, mate. Bloody kill you. No, nah, you, you wouldn't. Boo, boo seems like a um, 
like a fu- uh, like a funny guy that is stuck to his um uh, and fair play anyone that sticks to their sort of favorite and will will back them against anyone you you only got to applaud it i know it's delusional what some of the stuff he says but you know at least he doesn't back or, or doesn't shy away from his opinion Uh, there we are. Chris has said it in the chat. Um, it's Quest, Discovery, and Eurosport. And he's also said that um, free 180s for Menzies. So that answers your question, Ham. Free 180s for Cameron Menzies. It's a fantastic Scottish player, Cameron Menzies. No. I'll stop. Don't worry. Let me check something a minute for um, the Newport Exeter vlog. Um, what's the highlight game today? Um... Um, highlight game. I'm trying to remember the games. First game was Nick Falwell. No. Second game was um Steenbergen. No. This game probably. I'd say this game. Ian Jones, Cameron Menzies. Let me know if you would agree in the chat as well. <laughs> I use bet three six five. Oh goodness. Notice how like Oh, I'm not going to say it now. No, notice how since Fallon obviously pulled out, they they're still showing her on as much as they can during this game. Like, I know she's the partner of Menzies, but come on, man, seriously. One forty from Cammy. Excuse me. Is throwing to win the match. One sixty, does it go? Oh, unlucky. Ninety six from Menzies leaves sixty four, and Ian Jones wanted the big fish, but it goes back into the lake. It's not coming out. Sixteen, double sixteen for Menzies. Cameron Menzies is two legs away from victory. He leads Ian Jones by one leg to nil in set four. The Menzi machine is rolling potentially to the last 16. Oh, bounce out. How unlucky. That was basic. That was a 180 without the bounce out. Thanks for the beers, Witsy. Was one of the banners. Another treble. Oh, he is putting Ian Jones under a lot of pressure here, Cameron Menzies. Fair play to Ian Jones for sticking with him for as much as he he is. Because how he won that set was was very good. He played very well in that set to oh, Cameron Menzies goes treble seven, treble seven. Lakeside is London, isn't it? It 
62 for Menzies to go within one leg. 47. Double 16. Oh, comes inside by a, literally a millimetre. This 156 has to go. It doesn't. So Cameron Menzies will be back for double eight to break the throw, and he will then be here to serve it out. Double eight. Got to move over. Oh, he's potentially blocked this. If he gets this in from here, imagine he would have taken that out. Sorry. Ah, uh, so. Tops for Ian Jones. Has to go. Last dart in hand. Does go. Ian Jones takes out 56. Menzies throwing. Well, throwing to take the lead, but. Way short, but correct angle. Someone just tweeted on Twitter saying um, Ian Jones is the dark axe of um, Peter Manley. It's a good shot, to be fair. 97 it was, but it's that slack dart, isn't it, that every visit for, for Ian Jones is just that one slack visit where it's just tailed off to the side. He has left a big fist, though, Menzies, 4 or 2 one lead. David Paoletti finally made it past the first round at Lakeside now. I am shocked by that. Didn't he say I could win it as well? I swear he said in an interview that he could win it, is what I saw on Twitter. 140 for Ian Jones. 72 for Menzies. Tops for Cameron Menzies. Oh, he misses a dart at Tops. Ian Jones, 76 to break the throw. Double eight. And it goes. Breaks the Cameron Menzies throw. This is massive. Because if Cameron Menzies breaks, he's throwing for the match. But Ian Jones is throwing for the set. Oh, Cameron Menzies. 180 from Cammy to start leg number four. Only the fourth match, 180. But Cameron Menzies gets it at the right time. He's not on for the nine anymore, but it's all about winning the leg from here. Oh, only follows up the 180 with a 60, so. Cameron Menzies. He's left 165, no finish. Dangerous, dangerous stuff from Cammy. So Ian Jones is not on a finish. So trouble 19. That is unlucky. I'm presuming he wanted. Uh, Gnabry wants to leave Bayern Munich. I'll welcome him. I'll welcome him at Man United. Double four for Cameron Menzies. Oh, he's missed it. Menzies is finishing. Is just yeah. I agree with uh, with Ham. Uh, Menzies struggling to finish. So double four for Menzies to level up and throw for the match. Big dart. 
And it goes second dart in hand. Cameron Menzies is throwing for a place in the last 16. The winner will take on either Wayne Warren or Lee Shewan. What a first visit from Menzies. One, one, three, four. Needs a treble. It's a great last dart. Treble 19. Just to chug along in the leg. Ian Jones is done in this match, I feel. Neil Duff in the crowd. Hope you're well, Neil. Still celebrating that 3-0 win. So he's left 2-10. So if Ian Jones can hit something big here, i.e. a 140, then it could be giving him a... Oh, come on, take your dart, take the board, mate. Come on. Cameron Menzies, doesn't matter what he hits. What a shot that is from Menzies. One, three, four to leave 76. I'm a Newport fan, Ham, but I do follow Man United yet. So 76 for the match. Oh, he is, he's really doing my head in now, Ian Jones. Taking time going to and from the board. Is that is getting really annoying. I can see what people are on about now. Get on with it for God's sake. Why does he keep looking? He throws a dart, looks at what he needs. Throws a dart, looks at what he needs. Double 12, double 6 for Cammy. Cameron Menzies beats Ian Jones. Wow. He's going a bit, uh, bit over the top there, isn't he, Cameron Menzies? Wow. Jesus. What is he doing? Looks like he's going to bloody knock the referee out. Bloody hell. Wow. That was... Um, we, we've seen Gerwin Price react in some way, but... I mean, that is that is just... That's just... A way, I'm waiting to do a way maddle. <laughs> Does he have issues? What the hell? On this double six. Look at look at the celebration. Oh my god. <laughs> Chris in the chat says now I would love to see Price versus Menzies. Yeah, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, guys, that's where we're gonna wrap up this stream. Just to run through uh, the results. Nick Folwell beat Rory Hansen in game one by three sets to nil. Uh, Priscilla Steenberger knocked out Anker Zilstra two sets to nil. Neil Duff done the whitewash. Um, three whitewashes in, in the afternoon session beat Justin Thompson 3-0. And we've just seen a very illuminated Cameron Menzies beat uh, Justin, uh, not Justin, beat Ian Jones by three sets to one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do agree, Chris. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're leaving us, or if you're leaving us, of course you're leaving us because I'm ending the stream. Uh, but if you are watching this on playback, please make sure to like, com uh, like, comment and subscribe. Please make sure to like and subscribe on your way out. I will see you in the next couple of days. No evening session tonight, like I've already said. Um, so there will be an afternoon session tomorrow. Um, but for now, take care. See you guys tomorrow. Up the darts.